I've got to bone my hair and I don't even give a f So I wanted to make a video today despite the fact that I already posted one on Saturday. Oh, it wasn't. Did I post it on Saturday? It might have been Sunday. Despite the fact that I posted one sometime between Saturday and now. Yeah, but I didn't really know what to talk about. And then I thought, well, I will talk about um, things that I like that I probably shouldn't like. So here's a list of five, that's ten. Here's a list of five things that I like that I shouldn't like. So number one is the cold. I absolutely hate hot weather, which is really bad because we're coming into summer and I live in Australia, so it just it's ten times worse. But I absolutely hate hot weather. It's the worst. It's awful. It's crap. It's just, oh, oh it's the worst. So I really like the cold weather and I like winter because I find, well, you can put loads of clothes on to keep yourself warm, but there's only so many clothes you can take off before you've got none left or you get arrested for being naked in public, indecent exposure, exposing yourself to a minor, all those kind of criminal charges. So cold weather's just far superior. Number two is long car journeys. And I find that most people don't like long car journeys, but I really like them because it means that I can listen to my music for a long time and that's the reason why I like them and it also gives me a chance to sit for ages and do nothing which is another thing I really enjoy. Am I going in the right order of numbers? Did I start with number one and then go to number two or did I start with number five and then go to number two? I guess we'll find out when I edit this. So number three is keeping up with the Kardashians and I know I should hate this show, I know I should but I just can't. Like it's the worst, it's the worst show, it's like awful but when you watch it you just Oh, you just can't stop watching it. It's just, it just draws you in. It's like a drug and then you end up just watching it for hours and hours and hours. And I just love Scott Disick. He is the best. Oh, it's just, oh, the show's terrible. But you just can't not watch it when you start. It's, it just draws you in. And I, I hate that I like it, but I can't help it. Number four is Fred Figglehorn music. If you don't know who Fred Figglehorn is, then GTFO, go, just go. It's Fred from YouTube, the one with the squeaky voice played by Lucas Cruikshank, and yeah, he's the one who has like five billion movies from Nickelodeon and now is on TV show, so well done to you. Um, but he has like an album and a Christmas album of like Fred in that voice. And I shouldn't like it, but I do. I can't, ooh, I don't know why. I have both albums. I think it's pretty decent. And that's off, that's bad of me, isn't it? That just shows what a terrible reflection on my music taste, which is already bad enough. Justin Bieber, One Direction, Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez. Like, you go through my iPod and it's pretty much just, oh. And then, then you get to Fred Figglehorn and you're just like, oh, okay. And then the final one, number five, is I really like the smell of damp. And while that might sound gross to most people, like, I really like the smell. A lot, in my school, a lot of the classroom smell of it, and everyone walks in and is like, ooh, and I'm like, mmm, damp. It reminds me of attics, and like, my attic in my old house, like, because we had one, and it's obviously the attic where it's dusty and damp, and I just, oh, that smell, when I used to go up there to get the Christmas decorations, and I'd just be like, Inhale it. Oh, it's so nice. And everyone else is like, oh, what's that? Oh, it smells awful. And I'm just like, mm, yeah. I wish all of the classrooms smelled like this. People think I'm strange. I walk into music and the teacher's like, oh, yeah, it's the, it's the damp on the ceiling. And I'm like, get me some more damp because that, oh, that smell. So, yeah. On a quick other note, literally, Supernote 2012 started and I don't know which team to be on. And it's ruining my life because I really like Daily Grace and I really like Dan is Not On Fire and I really like Tyler Oakley and I don't know what team to be on. Internal confliction. How do I choose this? Like how do I choose which team to be on? They're like three of my favourite YouTubers. How do I do this? And in case you haven't already, I'm going to push this some more. I'm going to force it on you. In your face. Um, I have a Twitter Tumblr and Instagram, so follow me on those, twitter.com slash itsbritishemily. Um, my Tumblr is itsbritishemily.tumblr.com and then my Instagram is emilyhh6 and I'll put them in my underneath so that you can look at them and stalk them and then laugh at how pathetic I am. You wouldn't be the first. 
So I'm gonna go watch some more Adventure Time. Yep, okay, bye. What am I doing now? I don't, I don't even know.